Welcome to the Live to 110 podcast. I'm your host, Wendy Myers. You can find me on liveto110.com. Here is my co-host, the tough as nails, General Lee. Hey, y'all. So you can find her on generallee.com, L-E-I-G-H. Today, we are honored to have T Major on the show, and he's going to be talking about his singular Kaizen fitness method, which incorporates the Japanese concepts of constant and never-ending improvement and elimination of waste. And I love this idea because I frequently think of this concept myself and incorporate it into my life, but only with my work and my website, uh, not my fitness, clearly. Um, I, I never thought of applying it to fitness, but perhaps if I did, I'd, you know, I'd be in a lot better shape. <laughs> But first, we have to do our little disclaimer. That's right. So uh, please keep in mind that this program is not intended to diagnose or treat any disease or health condition, and it is not a substitute for professional medical advice. The Live to 110 podcast is solely informational in nature. Please consult your healthcare practitioner before engaging in any treatment or fitness regimen that we suggest on this show. And if you're interested in shedding a few pounds, you should download my Live to 110 by Weighing Less e-guide. Simply go to livetoone110.com and you'll see the big welcome graphic where you simply enter your email and you'll immediately be sent the free 35-page weight loss guide. So go do it right now. Yeah, and Wendy, tell me uh, what's going on with the book. Is it done yet? Well, I'm, I'm thrilled to announce that it's, it's almost finished or it's, it's pretty much finished. Um, there's just a few more finishing touches, and it's almost ready to go. It's, it's just, it's amazing how much work goes into these things. The book is, you know, it's it's taking paleo to the next level by including the most nutrient dense foods, and it's got crucial lifestyle tips in line with how our ancient bodies function optimally, and also goes into the importance of de- detoxing, because this aspect it's it's not found in any other paleo book, but it's really crucial. Uh, because you can eat the healthiest paleo diet in the world and still suffer health issues and disease if you don't detox from heavy metals and chemicals so prevalent today in our environment. So that's basically the book in a nutshell. And uh, you know, now I get to spend the next six months or so marketing it and working on my next book. That's fun. <laughs> and I can't wait to do your hair test next week. We're gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna do a hair mineral analysis on Lee and see how toxic she is. It's so. Fun because we talked about this last week and my mom happens to be coming in town and you say more stressed out you are the, the funnier your hair test should be so it should be off the charts with stress <laughs> <laughs> okay well we'll fix it don't worry okay, good so today Lee is going to be interviewing our guest uh, because they're good friends and she lured him into our little podcast web mm-hmm. and I'm so proud I'm a proud mama because it's gonna be your first interview Aww. I'm very pleased I'm excited too. So why don't you go for it? All right, here I go. Well, today's guest is the one and only T Major. T is an ACE certified Group X instructor, worldwide bodyweight export expert, and as we talked about, he's a mentor personally to me and now a really good friend. In 2008, T started T Major Fitness, which specialized in in personal training, small group training, and online consultation, mainly for adults looking to get in shape. And you can find all this information on his website, tmajor.com. T's passion and love for fitness and strength and conditioning comes from over 10 years of involvement in organized sports, including he had a scholarship to play football at Bryant University. During his transition into the fitness world, T managed to model for some of the top names in fitness apparel like Reebok, Adidas, Puma, New Balance, and Nike, just to name a few. And let's just say from a personal standpoint, this man is not only fit and buff, but obviously he is hot as well. So (laughs) anyone who's listening to the podcast, you wish you could see him, we know. Um, In April of 2011, T took his talents internationally and he became a personal trainer and MWR manager for T1 in Iraq as part of the operation of Iraqi Freedom. He served as a personal trainer to the U.S. Army. And most recently, you might have seen T Major in December of 2012 when he released his video, 44 Bodyweight Exercises. This video was insane. It has now over 7 million hits on YouTube and has spawned a bodyweight exercise frenzy worldwide. Uh, T is now 
has his BW44 program available online for purchase to help you get the strength and really the body that you want to achieve. Uh, and maybe to be able to get up to those 44 body weight exercises that he was doing in that video. So if you haven't seen it, we will have it on the site. You've got to check it out. Uh, hey, T, how are you? We're glad to have you on the podcast. Uh, so good to be here. Thanks, girls. So welcome. We, uh, we're we super excited to have you. I, uh, you know, from my standpoint, I, you know, we talked a little bit in the intro about you, but tell us just a tiny bit about you personally and professionally, and then I'll tell uh, our audience how I know you. Uh, well, personally, I don't know. I, I feel like most of my personal business is out there in the online universe. You know, I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty candid with just about everything. I'm very vocal through Facebook and through social media. Uh, self-proclaimed Kaizenist, workout fanatic. I'm a foodie. Uh, I love traveling. I love having fun. I love adventure. I love anything where I can come close to near death, but not too close. <laughs> And uh, I love being on the air, which is cool. This is a cool opportunity for me. Uh, professionally, you know, I've been doing this for a long, long time. It feels like forever. Um, I've been playing sports for a long time. That's how I got started. You know that much. Um, I started training professionally. And for me, it was, it was wild because I, you know, I was one of those guys that when I graduated from college, I was certain that I was going to end up, you know, working for somebody, selling some phenomenal product. And, uh, and that was going to be my life. But I, I figured out pretty fast that that's not what I wanted to do. So I, I turned to my original love, which is fitness. And um, it's really true when people say when you do what you're passionate about, you never work a day in your life. And, and that's honestly how I feel. I feel like I haven't worked in several years. I, uh, I exercise for a living and I serve others and it, it makes me feel great. I love your website, tmajor.com. I was looking on it, you know, trying to do a little research before we did our interview. And I'm a, it's a really great site, and I'm amazed that you've got 200,000 followers on uh, on Facebook. Yeah, it's, it, it, actually, it was, it's really cool that that's, that's very recent. You know, I've, I've had my Facebook fan page up for a while, but uh, if you keep doing the right things continuously, you know, that's when success comes. And I've been very blessed to have people pay attention and give me the ability to serve others. So I'm excited about it, and the future is going to be bright. It's cool. Awesome. Um you know, I wanted to just say from my standpoint and tell the audience a little bit about how I know you. So we talked a little bit in the intro about how T did a 44 body weight exercises video that was released on my birthday, which is the funniest part in 2012. And um, I saw this video and I was just like, I was sickened at how the inhuman freaking abilities of this man. I was just like, <laughs> it made me crazy. It gave me, you know, sometimes you need pictures, sometimes you need videos, sometimes you need a theme song to walk into the gym and give you that motivation. And this video literally got me so hyped. I think I watched it 500,000 times. And I showed my trainer and I'm like, I want to do this. Like, I, this is where I want to be. And it was so crazy because, you know, I immediately signed up for T's uh, Facebook and and so I was getting updates, and I saw one day on there that he was having women, he was championing women and asking them, hey, if you think you have a great 44 body weight exercises video, I want to see you do these, you know, as close to these exercises or make up your own 44 body weight exercises, really open about what the contest was going to look like. And I had one week until the deadline, so I decided, okay, I'm going to do it. And I created that video, and I, you know, made up the exercises, and I submitted it and I won his contest. So that's how we originally got to know each other. Yeah. Uh, and it was, uh, I mean, it, he's my inspiration and mentor into championing me into fitness. But then the coolest thing happened and we kept in contact and recently he was just here in Los Angeles. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Sunny LA, baby. I love, love, love going to Los Angeles and it, it's just it's the location you have to be if you want to connect with really successful people in the industry, really intelligent, smart people in the industry. And uh, I had a blast this time. I was only supposed to stay for two or three days. I ended up staying for a week, almost a week and a half. That's so awesome. It was where, are you, so where are you right now, T? I'm, uh, I'm back in Houston visiting family. This is where I was born and raised. This is where I call home. And uh, I, just, I just worked out before... We got on the phone here, so I was. Uh, I'm at the University of Houston Stadium, and uh, I popped over to watch the the college team, the Cougars, 
and their batting practice. So I'm out by the baseball field. If you can hear them in the background, just killing these balls over here. I was, I was <laughs> wondering what that noise was. <laughs> athletes, man. I love any chance I get to watch somebody be athletic. I jump at it. That's so cool. Well, we're glad to have you, and we're glad to have you out there watching watching guys hit that ball hard. Um, you know, when you were here, one of the things that was so cool is we got to work out together. We went over to Gold's in Venice, you know, the mecca of bodybuilding, and Great. we did a little different thing. We were doing, I kind of let T lead the way, although we're both trainers, his, uh, his style of training is so unique, and it was funny, when he came in, I had a knee injury, which I thought was probably a tear. And uh, we ended up, he asked me to do, looked at my leg, and we talked about the pain I was feeling. And he said, you know what, Lee, let's, I think this could be muscular. What I want you to do is my dynamic warm-up first, and let's see how you feel. So it was crazy. I've done his dynamic warm-up now almost every chance I've had since he left to exercise. And my knee is completely fine. I, it was really, it's a stretching technique. So, T, I really want to start by asking you to tell our audience a little bit about you know, your dynamic warm up and the benefits, uh, that, that it has for people. That's great to hear Lee. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy about that. You know, that, uh, your knees feeling better. Um, but you know what, more often than not, a lot of the issues people have with their knees or with their lower back pain or with their hips, oftentimes it's muscular. You know, one of the first things I ask people when they come to me and they say, Hey, I'm having pain or I can't do this workout because I have a knee injury. I say, well, what caused your knee injury? And usually they're like, well, I don't know, it just kind of happened one day. I'm like, well, okay, you weren't in an accident, you weren't doing any athletic movement, nothing. Oh, no, no, it just happened. It just came to me. That's me. <laughs> usually that's a good indicator that there's some sort of movement pattern or muscular imbalance that's causing that knee pain. So, you know, that just like I, I looked at Lee and I started to look at the way she was moving and what was going on, you know, that's usually the first step with a lot of my training partners but um the dynamic warm-up uh was something that i created because in order to prep for the workouts that i put together or to prep for any type of workout you need to properly warm up so the dynamic warm-up is is a movement prep mobility uh flexibility workout before you even get engaged into your workout and what it does it loosens up the hips it, it opens you up and it gets you moving and warmed up properly so that you don't injure yourself during the actual workout. And not to mention, it's pretty good. On, it's a pretty good cardio workout too, right, Lee? Oh, my gosh. I was, like, sweating bullets and having a, you know, I was like, this is more cardio than I've ever done. I usually jump on, like, an elliptical or, or some other format of a, a cardio machine, and I looked at T. I said, so do you want to get on the elliptical? He said, oh, no, you're going to do my dynamic warm-up with me. And it really was more intense. My heart rate was up, and it really did uh, get me opened up so that I could squat properly. And it was just, it's awesome. I don't now do an exercise, start my, start my, uh, training without it. So, um, yeah. it's awesome. And it's available also in your 90 day program that you created the BW 44. Is that right? Yeah, it comes as a bonus, but also because I felt like it was completely necessary to include it in there. You know, I didn't, it, for me, it's impossible to envision completing a workout successfully without properly warming up. So I definitely include it in my BW44. Um, if you see it, I actually perform it with my training mask on, the elevation training mask, just because it's about 20 minutes long. If you really get good at it, and if you do it at a fast pace, you can actually shorten it down to 15 minutes. Yeah. But it's 15 minutes of some vigorous cardio plus the elevation training mask. It, you end up burning so many calories and end up sweating balls so much <laughs> workout it's it's I don't I don't really do cardio you know per se cardio exercise you know I take my heart rate up I get intense before and then I hit the rest of my workout and I saw that mask I mean that mask not only I mean from my standpoint it also makes you look really tough so I, I'd like to wear that mask just around generally to the grocery store and other places to see what people think because it looks like yes. <laughs> I'm gonna send you one for free yeah. is, is that a silence of the lambs la mask it kind of looks like um it looks like you're going into a toxic area that you can't i mean you just look so freaking tough so you know, they call it a lot of a lot of people call it the bane mask they, that you look like bane <laughs> it was batman uh-huh yeah, it's, a, it's like a neoprene sleeve that Velcros in the back. 
and there's a there's a rubber mask in the front, so it covers your nose and your mouth. It's awesome. You should check out my website and, and take a look at it. It's one of my essential pieces of equipment. I use it every day. What? How does it? What does it do? How does it function? It's um, there's valves in the mask that basically restrict restrict the amount of oxygen that you're intaking into your lungs. So it's called an elevation training mask. But really, what it, it doesn't simulate training at high altitude because of course you would have to actually thin the oxygen to to do that. But what it does is it restricts the airflow to your lungs so that while you're breathing, you actually have to work your lungs and your diaphragm have to work harder to pull the oxygen into your lungs so that your oxygen uptake increases. So take the mask off, running, jogging, whatever you may be doing, you're taking more oxygen into your lungs. More oxygen means, your, you know, increased blood flow. Increased blood flow means, you know, increased cardio capacity and, um, and you can train longer and harder, you know, less muscle fatigue. So there's a lot of that. There's a lot of benefits to wearing the mask, and I don't wear it often. I wear it during my warm up, and I wear it during some of my cardio, where I'm doing uh, maybe some hit training or some circuit training. But that's enough, man. I train at 12,000 feet, and it kicks my ass. <laughs> I had no idea such a thing existed. Oh well, yeah. we will be wearing them, Wendy. <laughs> train you i can't wait to video that ah uh, it's gonna be really it's gonna be really funny let me tell you oh my gosh it is so awesome so okay t tell me a little bit about the 90 day program bw44 and your kaizen clean eating you know tell me what that means and, and what it's all about yeah bw44 is um it stands for body weight 44 or it could be beast workout 44 or whatever name you want to assign to it the bottom line is it's probably the most intense workout that's out there it's also the most complete workout that's out there. I looked at a lot of material. I've, I've tried a lot of programs. I've completed a lot of programs. And this program, a lot, of the, a lot of the training partners that I have and a lot of people that have purchased the program have said that, honestly, they don't need anything else because it covers A to Z. There's a dynamic warm-up right in the beginning. Um, you have your weight training. You have body weight training exercises and missions. You have a calendar that tells you exactly when to do it. There's a Kaizen clean eating nutritional manual that tells you how to clean up your diet, grocery list, how to shop, what vegetables to eat. I mean, it's top to bottom everything you need. We, I even include spin workouts, mobility workouts, and there's a rest and recovery week included in the program. So, I mean, you don't have to ask a question or do or, or you don't have to think for 90 days. I'm there for you. I'm your personal trainer, and everything is linked of course, to my social media, my email. So it's the closest thing to actually training right next to me side by side. So yes. I, I really enjoyed putting this program together because I knew there was nothing out there like it. And it was exactly the way that I was training up until actually releasing the program. So this is 100% the way I train and everything I was doing leading up into performing the 44 best body weight exercises ever and i think that's what everybody wanted you know just like you yeah. said all there's a lot of people go ahead no there's a lot of people i know when i saw the video i thought i can't i'm not there yet how do i get there so it's really great that you're giving people a manual and i actually did ex i did day number 32 yesterday with uh two guys at my gym with the dragon walk and it was intense, man. I, I had worked out legs already, and I got swooped into all these people who had picked up the BW44 manual, and we were on. they were on day 32, so I just I killed it with them. And I got to tell you, it was just super intense, and I felt like I got that cardio plus my you know body weight exercise in at the same time and just a full workout. It was awesome. Yeah, how killer are those dragon walks, man? Oh my gosh, they're awesome, and they make you again. I'm all about looking, looking really strong. So they, they're tough. They look tough, and they feel tough, and they, they just work all parts: your abs, and your arms, and your legs. It's just intense. So great, yeah. great. One of my favorite exercises. Yeah, uh, you know, T, like, uh, like I started my fitness path in 2011, and I know Wendy's been on and off in her fitness journey as well. We have a lot of people who are new to fitness. Do you have any? advice like what's the first thing you think of to tell somebody who's just getting started today you know into their fitness journey um if you're just getting started you know if you're gonna plan your own workouts um i would start with body weight training 
Honestly, you know, um, I tell I tell my training partners like, what are you? What, it doesn't make any sense. Why would you load up a bar or load your body up if you can't even control your own body and you haven't mastered your own body? So I like to start people off with body weight training. And as you know, it can be very difficult depending on the resistance or the the leverage that you use with your own body weight. So <clears throat> I like to train people or I like to advise people to you know start with body weight activities. Get your heart in shape, right? So get your cardio together. Uh, get, get used to it, getting in your routine. It takes three weeks at least to say that this is a habit of, my, of, of going to the gym. So that's the mental aspect of it. Yeah. Know that you're consistent. Um, and make sure you have a program and a plan in place that you can follow. Because I think the number one reason a failure of people don't reach their goals is consistency. So... You know, having a program and a plan in place is, I think, step number one, ensuring that you're mastering your own body weight. Um, if you're going to go to a trainer, you know, when you, if you're just starting out, if you're going to choose a trainer, choose a trainer that practices what they preach. You know, we have a lot of Globo gyms out there that people honestly can get hired on with a simple certification that they picked up online. You know, I, choose a trainer that they're their body resembles maybe the body type that you desire or somebody that actually trains with you. You know, when I was training troops out in uh, Kyrgyzstan, I work out with them twice a day. I'm doing the complete workout. And I think that's why my attendance rate was so high. And that's why we got the results because they looked at me sweating and grinding it out in front of the class. And you know, this guy practices what he preaches. He does, he does this stuff and look at him. So absolutely. You know, I, I like I like what you said about uh, starting with body weight. I think it's really important that we teach people to build up that muscle, those muscle fibers, the things that are underneath those big biceps. At times, are so important and, and really help you from you know injury. So that's super important is to to make sure that that you can control your own body weight, like you said. Uh, so I t absolutely could not agree with you more. Absolutely. Well, tell me, okay, so everybody's got a little bit of bad in them. We all got that little thing. I have a, a cupcake problem at times. <laughs> I don't know about you, so I like to find out, you know, with my fittest friends, what's your food or do you have a beverage that is a weakness that, that is your go-to? Uh, what, is, what is this word weakness? I don't understand this <laughs> <laughs> I do not. I speak no weakness. <laughs> no, if I had anything, uh, I enjoy I enjoy a drink with my friends. I enjoy a drink with my buddies. I, I'm not a big sweets guy. Um, I don't do cookies, cakes, that type of thing. That's never really been a weakness of mine. Um, but I enjoy a nice scotch with the buddies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had a couple scotches when you were here in L.A., just in case. Absolutely. <laughs> and what about, uh, okay, so now that we know that you have no weaknesses, that's good. Tell me about, uh, you know, Rest. One of the things that I realized is super important is, is rest. What is your take on, do you take days off? Do you rest? How many days a week do you rest? Uh, what does your schedule look like? What does this days, what does days off mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, absolutely. Rest and recovery is, is essential. Um, it depends on your training style. It depends on, uh, on what you're doing. Um, for me personally, I mean, so the, Let's take this last position I was in, for example, with uh, with the military in Kyrgyzstan. I went the, – the the troops would come in in six-month rotations. So I would get a new group every six months. And we would go five weeks to six weeks before we had a rest and recovery week. Um, some, I would push it to six weeks depending on how they looked and how they felt. You know, it's, it's tough when you have a group of about 50 – you know, you, but you got to gauge it as a trainer. You have to gauge it. You have to ask, you know, Hey, how do you guys feel? You know, do your joints hurt? Do your knees hurt? Are you fatigued? Is it tough for you to get up in the morning? Are you still motivated for these workouts? And then I, I, I collectively gather all that information and I say, okay, you know, it's time for a risk and recovery. And then because I'm working out with them, I gauge how I feel personally. If I'm getting burnt out, then I say, you know what? It's, it's time to take a break and it's okay. It's, you don't really take off, take off. You just switch the workout and the routine up so that it's not as high impact and it's not as bruising and beating you up. And that's why I did in my BW44, that's why we do the spin, the yoga, because you know, it's you're still working out, you're still active, you're still burning calories, 
but it's not the same type of high-intensity workout. Yeah, you're not ripping up that those muscles as much. So, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So absolutely. do you take a day off of rest? Like, do you take Sunday off, or are you just going straight through for five, six weeks, and then taking a week off? Uh, yeah, typically I, I go or do something every day, you know. Um, I'm not really training for a sport, you know, and I'm not really killing myself, but I, I work hard, and I feel like at at this age and at this level of fitness, I can I can push, you know, every day, and that's what I do. But that's right for me, though. That doesn't mean it's right for everybody. I encourage, you know, you to take a day off. But it, like I said, it depends on your training. If you're just doing traditional weight training and you're on, you know, maybe a three day split, buys and tries, back and buys, legs and shoulders, for example, then you should take a day off and then hit that routine again so that you're filling up, you know, your your six or seven day week cycle. But um, it all depends, you know. Some people recover faster than others. Some people are in better shape. So, yeah, but rest and recovery is important. Um, ne not necessarily taking days off. I think they're two different things. But rest and recovery is definitely important. You should be sleeping, try to get your eight hours a night. And, you know, recovery should include switching the workouts up to get your muscles some sort of, of change from your current routine. I agree. I highly value rest and recovery. <laughs> I am the queen of rest and recovery. <laughs> I just do my little Pilates three days a week and I'm resting the rest of the time. Um, but I'm hoping to increase it soon with with uh, Lee's help, of course. Oh, yes. We are going to be, this is, this is going to be this year. We're going to be doing whipping Wendy into mega shape this yeah. year. Yeah. <laughs> you got to get training partner. <laughs> Yeah, I want to have some really good before and after photos. So that my body with high energy, man. I met Lee and it was right, like right off the bat, I went from an eight to a twelve. I was like, oh my god, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so T, I, we have a lot of question we like to ask all of our guests. What, in your opinion, is the most pressing health issue in the world today? Oh, I mean, obviously we have an obesity epidemic that's going on I mean it's it's crazy because I you know I've been overseas for a while and I travel quite frequently and I don't know if Americans really know but the rest of the world does not look like us you know like we have a lot of in shape individuals here yes we have skinny you know like not non obese individuals but because we're not properly taught nutrition in school or you know, as we grow, it's it's a serious problem. I think we're getting a lot better. I think the president and, and the first lady, their initiative into cleaning up food and school systems and um, and their public service in terms of nutrition and educating the public, they're doing a great job, but it's still a big problem. You know, we're trying to reverse 50 years of just bad, nasty eating and capitalism just causing a, just a vicious cycle of you know, health problems. Um, so, you know, that's that's the major number one problem. But um, in training, I think that we have a lot of, I, what I see is a lot of lower back pain and a lot of knee pain. And it's because we have jobs that are very sedentary. You know, a lot of people are sitting for long periods of time. So I hear all the time, my lower back, my lower back, my lower back. And it's because people are sitting. It's because their, their hips are shortened and you know, they have, you know, tight glutes or their glutes don't activate at all, which causes lower back pain and lower back problems. So I think a lot of trainers would agree with me. We're having to correct a lot of knee, a knee pain and a lot of lower back issues that are going on with people that are actually getting active and doing something about their weight issues. So between those two things, you know, we, we got a long road ahead of us, but there is a, there is hope. I have hope. Mm -hmm. Well, Tia... You know, there's so much going on with you. I know that from you being here. Tell me, tell our audience a little bit about your goals, things that are coming up for you, videos, records you're going to break, you know, things like that. Oh, man, there's so much to do, so little time. <laughs> how early I wake up, I feel like the day is still not long enough. Mm. But, um, well, see, I, oh, you know what? I currently found out, and I don't know why, I, was, I guess I was just surfing the internet browsing, but... There's a guy in Australia in 2010 that set the muscle up record. It's at 25. I feel like I can break it. I feel like I can do that. So I'm currently training to break the muscle up record. 
the Guinness Book of World Records must love record. That's what I'm talking about. We go, we go, we go big. I like this. I like the sound of that record. How many people do you know that have a Guinness Book of World Record? Not many, right? None. All right, you will soon know one. I don't know how soon, but you will soon know one. Yeah. No, my true. my husband holds a record for eating the most Doritos. <laughs> quite a feat <laughs> and uh are you gonna be here locally do you have any plans to be outside of uh houston or where are you going next uh you know from here i'm actually gonna take a i'm gonna i call it a mini retirement i'm, mm -hmm. I'm to thailand to kind of soak up some sun and enjoy some beach I kind of you know i don't feel like i need a reward you know but um i i was over there in kyrgyzstan for 18 months training very hard mm -hmm. so what i'm gonna do now is take everything that I've learned and everything I've done and I'm going to write another manual you know to put into my store for the public and I'm going to write a lot of free programs and I'm going to put together a lot of free videos for Team Major Fitness you know and I'm very excited about that stuff um, I'm working with a lot of really cool companies like ISOCOR uh, to to build some manuals and put some things out there for them and um, yeah. Um, I want to shoot a DVD in the future. I'm thinking about shooting it in Thailand if I can find a cool enough location. If not, then, uh, you know, if not, then that'll be the next project that I'll set my sights to. Um, and then from there, I'm actually moving to China full time. Wow. Because you know, I'm going to be building Team Major Fitness from there remotely, and um, I have another startup that I'm going to be working on that's fitness related. I can't give too much information right now, but. Um, it's going to be cool too. It's going to tie into Team Major Fitness and everything that I do is just so that I can serve people and we can reach our goal of, of serving over 1 million people. I'm like McDonald's. I'm like the new McDonald's, you know, I want to <laughs> serve over 1 million, you know? Wonderful. That is wonderful. Well, as I, as I discussed earlier in the podcast, you are a, a fit, fit man and or a model. And I know a lot of the ladies out there want to know the personal question. Are you a single guy? <laughs> Uh, yeah, actually, I am right now. Not by choice, but just because, you know, I'm moving in shape. Like I said, I was just in Kyrgyzstan. I'm going to be in Thailand. I'm going to be in China. And, you know, I, f I feel like anything worth doing is worth doing 1,000%. So if I'm going to be in a relationship, I'm going to want to do it the right way and spend time and really enjoy. And right now, I'm, I'm focused on my business and building it the right way so that I can eventually share it with somebody. So now, at least, you know. So some lady's going to have to fly to China to come and get you. That's right. <laughs> well, uh, go ahead. Show some initiative. That's right. You know, so wearing a mask. You better be wearing a mask when you, you know. Yeah. Uh, show up to China with a training mask on. That's right. Then you know that you, you found your wife. Well, you're going to fit right in because everyone there is wearing masks. Yes. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> well, okay. So one more time, tell us, tell our listeners like where they can find you and where they can find your BW44 program. Yep, I'm at tmajor.com, T-E-E-M-A-J-O-R.com, and my BW44 program is at store.tmajor.com. Everything is linked. If you if you just Google search me, you'll find the program. Awesome. This yes. is gonna get sappy. Just so you know, I love this man. He is wonderful. I respect him. He has taught me so much. I absolutely would champion anything he does. He's amazing and a good friend and a mentor. And if you have not seen that body weight video that made me insane, trust me when I say you have got to go on. It's on YouTube. It's got 7 million hits. So if you haven't seen it, I'm surprised. But it will just hype you up. And then you can obviously do his BW44 program and get yourself to that level. So I just want you to know I love you to death. I think you're wonderful, and I'm so proud of the accomplishment you Please. made in your life. Thank you so much. And you know what? It wasn't even a close competition after you submitted your video, mm -hmm. and I was so impressed with everything that you did, and you know, physically, and you're even a more impressive person, you know, like inside. So yeah. It's been a pleasure getting to know you, too, and I'm pumped for your future and everything you're doing. It's cool now. Are you doing the podcast? Wendy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We are going to get serious this year. Oh, yeah. You guys have such a wealth of knowledge, and you guys are going to make waves. I'm pumped for you, man. I'm going to tune in and subscribe, and I'm going to encourage all my public to do the same. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, T. 
And I have to say, I have to say to you, I love your name because it's the perfect name for a fitness trainer or a coach or someone that's training people in the military. Uh, I got lucky, right? My my father's name is Thomas Major. I'm Thomas Major the second, and I don't know. Like people ask me all the time, like how'd you come up with that? And I'm like, well, it was kind of, it was. It was <laughs> I know it's it's all it's it seems like someone you could make it up because it's so perfect because whenever I've had a trainer I want someone with a commando style of training because I really need to be whipped shamelessly and so I just I love your name it's perfect. Cool, thanks so much. Yeah. So where can people find you on social media? Yeah, you know, I'm on Facebook at T Major Fitness. Um, I'm on Twitter T E E underscore Major. Uh, I'm on Pinterest as well, T Major, T Major Fitness. I'm on Instagram, T Major. Everything is T Major or T Major Fitness, so I'm pretty easy to find. Uh, my website has links to all my social media. So does my store. Uh, I'm all over the place. Mm-hmm. Well, great. Well, T, thank you so much for being on the show. It's so great to have you. No, uh, thanks again, girls. It was my pleasure. And if you want to learn about me, the General Lee, obviously you can go to my website, which is generallee.com. You can find me on Instagram at Jen Lee. You can also find me on my YouTube channel where my 44 bodyweight exercise video is, and that's under my full name, which is Lee Lowry. Uh, or you can just Google me at General Lee, and you'll typically be able to find me pretty easy as well. And uh, if you like what you heard on this show today, Please give the Live to 110 podcast a review on iTunes. We really need the reviews, and we absolutely love them. So thank you. Yeah, so please take two minutes of your time today and go leave us a nice review, not a scathing review, a good review. (laughs) And if you want to learn how to do a real detox, not a 10-day detox in a box, uh, with nutritional balancing, you can find me on LiveTo110.com. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter at I Will Live to 110. And you can also find me on Instagram and Pinterest at Live to 110. So thanks so much today for tuning in. Remember, Rome was not built in a day. Many of you start out working on your fitness and get frustrated when you don't see results right away. Incorporate the Kaizen method and way of thinking and take it one step at a time. You've got to think in terms of continuous improvement, not immediate results. So thank you so much for listening to the Live to 110 podcast.